Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Previously, we unboxed the Ink Plate 6 Plus from Soldered Electronics, and then we got to print out the 3D printed case, and we tried out some example sketches. Now, this time around, I want to try out some of their more advanced example sketches in the Projects category. And we're also going to print the alternative case that it snaps shut, it doesn't use screws. Yeah, so the Ink Plate Arduino Library Example Sketches, Ink Plate 6 Plus. Yeah, we're also going to check out the Ink Plate Battery Voltage and Temperature Sketch because I got the battery in. But under Projects here, they have several different interesting ones that I'd like to try out Calculator, Google, uh, Calendar Example, the Image Frame, News API, Open Weather, and Quotables. Here under Inkplate 6 Plus Hardware is the alternative 3D printable case. And like I say, this one just snaps closed. You don't need any screws. It also has a desk mount and a wall mount bracket. I think with the battery, the little pegs for the mount are going to conflict with the battery. I'll have to play with that a little bit more. I had a little trouble getting the battery into the case with the ink plate in this particular alternate case. I also had to scale up. The, the print actually came out as intended at 118.6, but I couldn't quite fit the ink plate, so I scaled it there by 0.84, and it just fit. I had to jockey the battery position around because the battery is conflicting with some of the components on the back, and that makes it difficult to uh, close the case. The ink plate needs to sit right on those little hooks you see arranged around the inside of the back of the case there. Oh, yeah. When you get that battery, make sure the polarity is set right. <laughs> I, I uh, plugged it in. I got a little puff of smoke, pulled it out rapidly, realizing, oh, the wires were crossed when I received the battery. But you see here, it still fires up. So, whew. all right. Yeah, like I say, we want to go into the ink plate 6 plus example sketches and we're going to go into advanced ink plate features and we're going to check out the battery voltage and temperature. Want to make sure everything's going well there. And again, for the most part, all of the uh, library is self-contained. We will have to load a couple of other libraries for some of these projects. But here you see I've got the battery voltage and temperature. So I feel confident we can go ahead and work with this, in this case, with the battery. Yeah, there I scaled it uh, 0.84, so 100.84, and it made it a millimeter bigger, essentially. It was just what I needed. Put the battery in a different place, got the ink plate centered. There we go. And it's going to snap shut. Okay, that's good. That looks good. One more snap here. Okay, we're done. Good sturdy case. The other thing that's missing is kind of buttons. I think I can work that out. Just make a little square peg with a, a flat panel on it that would fit inside the holes for the buttons. So Arduino libraries, ink plate Arduino library master, example sketches, ink plate six plus. Here's the project. First out the door, we're gonna do the calculator. Didn't need any other libraries. The include file basically draws the screen and the sketch operates the calculator. No other inputs needed. Let's just go ahead and send this. All right, there's our calculator. Now there's two clear buttons. One clears the output and one clears the input. So you see here, I'll do a little calculation. There we go. That's a big number. All right. Let's go ahead and clear it now. That clears the input, that clears the output, and refresh actually refreshes the whole screen there. Okay, so this is the Google Calendar example. You're going to need your Wi-Fi, SSID, and password. You're going to need the calendar URL. We'll tell you how to get that, and you're going to get your time zone number in there. I'm in Mountain Standard, so it's minus 7. 
Yeah, your calendar entries have to have times on them. If it's just a, an appointment with no time, it won't show up. So on the selected calendar that you want to view, click on the three dots, click on sharing, click on integrate calendar, and go down to the bottom and get the secret address in iCal format. Yeah, you should not give out the secret address to other people. Okay, connecting to Wi-Fi. And there's my appointments for the next three days. We're going to make an ink plate video. Let's make some songs for SoundCloud. And let's make a video about the Sola Company. Okay, image frame is actually my favorite one. You just need your Wi-Fi, SSID, and password. It's got the URL built into it, source, unsplash.com, random, 1024 by 768. This is just really cool. It's just every so often it's going to refresh the screen with some new random image. And actually when I got done making the video, this was the sketch that I reloaded onto this. It's just, just one cool image after another. Don't think of it as like a gadget. Think of it like a coffee table art book. You can just leave this on the table somewhere and people are going to look at it and pick it up and go, oh, what a cool image. There's some really random images on there too. Yeah. This is the news API example. You have to have Arduino JSON library installed. And indeed we do. You need your Wi-Fi, SSID, and password. And you also need the API key from newsdata.io. So I registered at newsdata.io, logged in, and under account settings, you can click on the API key tab and get your API key to paste into the sketch. Yeah, there's just another random uh, waffle with Oreo cookie. That was a pretty cool image. Okay, news API example. Okay, I'm not going to read these headlines out loud. I might get demonetized. Very readable. I didn't leave this on long enough to see if how often it switches stories, etc. But uh, I'll check that out. Okay, up next is the Open Weather Station. We've worked with Open Weather Map before. Yeah, you have to have this time library installed. I got an error right away. And you also, of course, have to have the Arduino JSON that we had with the, the news API example sketch. So here, time, and then down at the bottom, that's time by Michael Margolis. Now we need our Wi-Fi SSID and password. The Open Weather API key, you get that by signing up and logging in at openweather.org. And you go click on API keys. I'm not going to click on it here so you don't see them. And then you also need your longitude and latitude. And don't worry, that's not my exact coordinates. It's somewhere close by, but waiting to connect to the Wi-Fi. Okay, there we go. Temperatures for the day. Forecast for the next three days. We've got the pressure and the relative humidity. Very nice. Oh, yeah, and the moon phase, too. Pretty cool. Okay, next is quotables. You just need your Wi-Fi, SSID, and password, and this is going to a fixed URL that's just going to give you random quotes. Yeah, api.quotable.io slash random. Let's go ahead and send that. Here we go. The sketch loads up. Wi-Fi connects, and there's our quote for the day. I don't know how often this updates. I didn't really look at the code. But hey, I hope you enjoy looking at these project example sketches for the Inkplate 6 Plus. Give this video a like. Leave a comment down below if you see other sketches you'd like me to try out on the Inkplate 6 Plus. And, and before you go watch more of my Inkplate 6 Plus videos on the Shotoku Tech YouTube channel, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.